Welcome to Candidate Spotlight. My name is Brandy Stankovic, and I would like to introduce you to John Milburn. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me here, Brandy. How are you? Very good. I'm excited to be uh, talking to you today. Excellent. Please give us an uh, overview of your background and experience. Uh, as a young man of 19, I left Australia to uh, come to the University of Oregon. I'm an Oregon duck, yeah. and uh, I came on a basketball scholarship. I was there for four years, and uh, I ended up with a uh, bachelor's degree in science and a teaching certificate, and I was assigned a teaching job in Clark County. Hmm. <clears throat> I didn't realize how lucky I was that I got assigned to Boulder City. Back then, you didn't pick where you wanted to go. Oh, really? Okay. And uh, I was assigned to Boulder City as a math, chemistry, and physics instructor. It, was a, it wasn't much smaller school then than <laughs> it is now. Uh, and uh, I, I wasn't a coach when I first came, but when they found out I'd played basketball, I was coerced into coaching, <laughs> and I ended up spending 28 years there. Wow. Uh, raised a family. I uh, had both my children graduated from Boulder City High School. They were born in the old hospital, which mm -hmm. I was so sad to see go. Mm -hmm. But uh, after retiring, I went to the Meadows, a, a private school in Las Vegas, Carolyn Goodman's private school, prep school, mm -hmm. taught there for 10 years, uh, totally different type of situation than a public school, mm -hmm. although uh, not as far removed as you might think. Boulder City has very good students, and it was, it was quite comparable. I retired again after 10 years there. Mm -hmm. Makes me sound old. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I actually uh, did some part-time work for the public administrator's office and for the last five years, I have been fully retired. I think I've conquered that, and uh, I came out of retirement with a bang in the last month. <laughs> I'm doing more work than I've done in uh, the last five years total. <laughs> so tell us about your perspective on the job of the city councilman. What, do, what all goes into that, and why are you a good candidate? Well, Bold City uh, Council is a city manager four-person councilman with a mayor, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the, the reason why, oh, they're also uh, under the guidance of the open meeting law. Mm -hmm. I, I can see that that's a thing that's very important. After talking to city councilman, I didn't realize how difficult it was that for them to, to work, you know, especially as a team under those, kind, under those restrictions, but mm -hmm. I can see the value. I can see the value in that. Uh, I, I ran in this race because I think that uh, I have, have several, two qualities that are important. One, my background as a chemistry and physics instructor has taught me to be analytical, mm -hmm. and how to solve problems. Uh, but more than that, I think my 50 years in Boulder City mm -hmm. has earned me a reputation as someone who's fair and open and willing to listen to people with opposing views. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so that... Uh, my kids in school didn't complain then, but now they tell me later they were really disappointed that I didn't back them in their little skirmishes with other students. <laughs> I, I uh, allowed them to work it out for themselves. But I, I do believe that, that you need to listen openly to what people have to say, mm -hmm. even if you don't agree. And then some of that falls into this, that role of getting the voice of the community. How do you plan, you know, how will you get the voice or what? Well, I, when I, when I first decided, I, I really thought when I first decided to run that there was a lot of dissension mm -hmm. in the town, mm -hmm. honestly. But I made it my goal to go and talk to people, and I found out that we really are way more united than people think. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly people have their own little issues, but everybody is in, I am in favor of the controlled growth ordinance, but I need some growth. Mm -hmm. I've heard that statement stated exactly like that from 30 or 40 people that I've talked to. Uh, I was careful not to talk to just the people that I know. Mm -hmm. Some uh, I was instructed, well, go to the bowling alley. That's where <laughs> the normal people, I don't know what normal is, but I did go to the bowling alley, and I talked to a few people there, and everyone in town, well, number one, every single person is totally has the best for Boulder City at heart. Mm -hmm. There are minor disagreements, but I can tell you on the growth issue, this town is fairly united in that they 
love our growth ordinance and it's been wonderful wonderful to us over the years i supported it back in 1979 mm -hmm. when i was here mm -hmm. and it's been a wonderful thing for us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so tell us then about your five-year vision for the city of boulder city right now i envision uh, boulder city as retaining a lot of its same flavor with maybe construction on a new pool lower debt uh, our infrastructure problems being handled. But honestly, I see Boulder City right now still as the small historical town mm -hmm. that, that it was when I came here. And it has been able to survive the growth of Philadelphia Prada residential growth on one side, all of the growth below Adams that wasn't there, mm -hmm. all of the growth over the hill. And in five years, I still see it surviving as a small vibrant community uptown, the historical community, with, with now some additional residential growth out towards Boulder Creek. Mm -hmm. And that's what, what I see, right? I, I, I can see that, uh, and, and it would be something that would not change the character of the uptown of Boulder City as it remain, is right now in my mind. Mm -hmm. And what then, based on that, are your priorities for the, for the city? Well, the the uh, the prior there's several priorities. The, the first two, the major priorities that I see is reducing the debt and our infrastructure problems. But they require money, funding mainly from the uh, from our uh, capital improvement fund. But in addition to that, we have have uh, problems that are not so easy to solve just with money. For example, the the uh, reduced number of students in the high school. Mm -hmm. uh, I was surprised to learn that it's. It's, uh, I retired 24 years ago from teaching the high school, and 30-odd years ago, the school was 100 or 150, I think, more than it is right now, which I don't know, you know, that was surprising. I, 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 was, I was not aware of that. But uh, that issue and then the expected downturn in business, uh, business uh, community mm -hmm. due to the impending coming of I-11, mm -hmm. those things can't be as, as easily solved with money. But the uh, priority of growth out, uh, especially out around Boulder Creek, uh, where we've already got pre-approved land. Mm -hmm. uh, now, as I understand it, we didn't have any proposals on it, but uh, there seems to be some in the works. I would think that uh, some growth out in that direction, along with uh, the city has land that in, in the uh, growth management plan, growth management plan that is uh, for use of uh, affordable housing. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also have at their disposal incentives for, you know, developers, not for them to get the money, but for them to provide lower housing on designated, er you know, areas in town. There's some that are already in the land, land management uh, program. Uh, I would like to see both of those things encouraged and the reason why is that they could help. Obviously, they're not going to solve the problem of declining school population and the declining businesses. We need to do a lot more in both those issues, I think. But it, it would at least help. Mm -hmm. But the advantage, we are, I've heard the statement said that growth doesn't pay for growth. And I understand where they're coming from. But Boulder City is truly unique, is that we do get an initial revenue from the sale of that land. Mm -hmm. That sale of land, which, which has to go in the capital improvement fund, then could be used to provide a new swimming pool, mm -hmm. uh, make improvements. Also, right now, there's some people concerned about a high-voltage power plant coming up from Hemingway Park. Mm -hmm. could be used for things like that. Mm -hmm. And so you spoke to it somewhat in, in discussing the priorities and your vision, but your position, what is your position in that? In the well, my position, uh, my position is we do need to reduce the debt. Mm -hmm. uh, we do need to work on our infrastructure problems. And we do need to address the issue of the declining school population. Uh, you know, I, I wanted, you know, but that's a difficult one to do. We do need to address the, the business community. Matter of fact, I was just at a business community meeting. I was really impressed with how they uh, were working together, networking, trying to help each other. I, I talked to some businesses that I thought, well, you probably won't be affected by as much mm -hmm. by the uh, uh, coming of the I-11. 
And their immediate answer was, yeah, well, but they were worried about the other businesses. And I, I thought that grouping together of them, obviously the community and everybody needs to get, get behind them. Mm -hmm. But of those four issues that I've just mentioned that I'm in favor of, I think the one priority of encouraging some residential growth mm -hmm. and the money that we could get from that yeah. mm -hmm. could help all of those things at one time. Yeah, that's true. So how will you contribute then to making the city a better place? Uh, I, uh, I feel that, I mentioned this before, that with, with my background, I think I have being able to, to analyze and analytically look at problems and solve them along, I like I said, with my personality for being able to get along with people, that that makes me qualified to be on city council. I know that a lot of people don't have the time mm -hmm. to be able to study all the issues. I found out that in this month, I have not been able to study everything I want to. I, I particularly looked at the growth issue because that I thought was the one that, which was the most dissension. And mm -hmm. like I said, I'm, I'm thinking that's one of the ones that where there isn't a problem. But I think that my 50 years here has earned me a reputation that I would be trusted to do the right thing and listen to people and do what's best for Boulder City. For the community. Mm -hmm. So any final thoughts on why we should vote for you? Uh, I think I've said, I've repeated it twice, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I will repeat it again, that I have the best interest of Boulder City at heart, mm -hmm. and I will do my utmost to do the right thing uh, even to the extent that sometimes I may have to do things that I don't particularly want to do. You know, if, if the, obviously if the majority of people want to do it, you know, then I'm going to go along with that. But I've, I think I have explained what, mm -hmm. you know, what I have in mind. And if people like what they hear and they trust my integrity, mm -hmm. I would like their vote. Excellent. Thank you very much for being a part of this. I appreciate meeting Thank you, you Brandy. and having you be here and, and sharing your experience. Thank you so much. My name is Brandy Sankovic, and you just had the opportunity to watch the Candidate Spotlight, which was an informal discussion with the candidates in the upcoming election for City Council here in the city of Boulder City. All of the eight candidates had the opportunity, equal opportunity, to come be a part of this process. All of the filming and videos were done in one day, and they were all done live or done in one take. So to give you as much information about them, their background, their wants, their desires, and things they want to do to make Boulder City a better place. Our primary goal is to to give you as much information as possible. And everybody involved in this process and production is volunteering their time. So thank you for watching our videos and we hope you enjoy.